what's going on with you, Shana? It's like six in the morning. You know, it's just starting to warm up in New York and shit. So it's like, <laughs> you know, what's funny. Before I even start talking, um, jump off the table. Like, I remember being down south, right? And 40 degrees being, 40, 35 being like bone chilling cold. Like down there, it's like bone chilling cold. When you come up here, you get used to like 8 degrees, 10 degrees, 15. You know what I'm saying? 20 is like a warmer day. Like it's getting warmer, the weather's picking up type shit. But, you know... I just find that hilarious. Like yesterday was like, we went out, I think it might've been 35, 40. And it's like, yo, I'm outside in shorts. It just makes me think if I was to ever move back down South, which I doubt <laughs> that even in December, I'd be running around in shorts and shit with like flip flops. I just wanted to share that. But, um, I watched the internet a lot. And I still watch the internet. And I've, and I've reached this place with the internet that I've learned to not, you know, A, not take things so personal, you know, B, not say so much, and C, just have fun with it. Because um, the things to me that pop up on the internet, if you had to ask me what I thought of it currently, because, you know, I'm a person that's growing and learning, and I got to adjust my camera. But, um... If there's things that are said online, and sometimes I scroll down my timeline, and a lot of those things, I want to say, I don't want to say irritate me, but they more so like, they sit with me wrong, right? They a lot, and a lot of a lot of my responses I used to have when I was younger was from things sitting with me wrong. Like someone would say something, and it wouldn't pertain to me. It would just be a woman talking about men, for instance. And I would take that personal and be like, and I had a response. And I felt like because I've said those responses, I said what I needed to say. I did what I needed to do. Hey, Peach. But I, at this age, try to be careful about what I put out into the atmosphere. The energy I put out, the things I respond to, whatever the case may be, right? I also currently feel like I don't need to be in this back and forth competition with women. Just, I mean, strictly in the space of like the internet. Like, I've noticed a lot with guys, and this is my personal opinion, I've told my girlfriend the same thing, that I think dudes feel like they need a spokesperson. Like guys feel like they need someone to get mad at women because they're mad at women. You know what I mean? And I understand where that comes from. And I've grown a lot from the internet person I was when this YouTube shit first started. You know, and I and I got reached this place where I just you know, I didn't feel like fucking talking, cause it's just you know I was irritated, frustrated, just whatever you know, giving advice and motherfuckers fucking on my advice. It just made me not want to talk. But I reached a place where I see things on the internet that bother me or sit with me wrong or things that girls say or whatever the case may be, and I just scroll past it. Cause honestly, as a dude. As a dude, honestly, really ask yourself as a dude, what the fuck does it have to do with you? You know what I mean? A lot of guys on the internet make shit that women talk about about themselves. Ronell lives in Manland. I care about lifting weights, and um, investments, uh, you know, vehicles, you know, just shit that I, Xbox, like, I'm not out here trying to, like, be in competition with women on the internet, argue and this and the third. Second, and I, and I always put it on men. I always put it on the men. There was a guy that inboxed me yesterday. He was going through a lot with his girl. And a lot of things with dudes is like when women give you emotional energy, a lot of times your, your first natural response is to argue back. You want to argue back because you just, you want to push her into a position where you feel as though you have control or you want to be right. But what I'm saying is, is like, until you and your lady, until the guys on the internet and the women on the internet really sit down and have some real conversations and really get to a middle ground, nobody will get anywhere. Like, I get being an alpha male. Like, I, in my mind, consider myself an alpha male. But I often don't walk around pushing that narrative like I used to. When I was younger, I felt like I had to constantly beat my chest and say a lot of things that didn't need to be said 
you know, fling insults out there, fling comments out there. And I personally reached this place where I'm beyond all of that. And I'm so glad I got out of that realm of arguing with people, like just ar arguing with women, especially like, you know, the internet is one of those places where everybody thinks they're an expert. Everybody has an expert opinion. Everybody has something to say. Everyone has something to, you know, get off their chest. Like everybody on the internet is an expert and I don't buy into that. Does that mean I'm going to argue? Like you can tell, okay. You can tell you're talking to a person with some type of intelligence because they either like they can hear your difference of opinion and they won't get mad at it. They'll just, oh, okay, cool, that's how you feel, that's fine. Or a person where you can conversate with them, talk about something completely unrelated that oh they don't have no knowledge on, and they'll just and, <clears throat> excuse me, they'll listen to you. <laughs> like they'll take it in and be like, okay, well this is probably why he feels this way because it's. I try to be one of those people. Second, I try not to parent nobody. That was a bad habit I had when I was giving advice. Like, I'm like, look, man, I'm, I, I felt like a dad in some sense. And it gives you this complex that feel, makes you feel like you can tell people shit. I no longer believe in that either. Now, if I'm asked a question and I have knowledge on it or if I have some type of expertise on it, I depart. I, I, what I do now is I depart information. Like, you want to know something? I depart the information to you. I'm not going to try to guide you. If you act, like, there's a difference between sharing information with somebody that wants information and trying to parent them. Like, the only thing that can check anyone is life. And I've learned that within the past year. The only thing that can check anybody on the internet is life. Because I've gotten to this place now where I'm able to be open minded and understand people and try to be so closed minded, whatever the case may be. And even I do it from time to time. But the only way I got to that place was life. I'll be 33 this year. So my vernacular and how I talk to people and how I communicate and the things I share and how I go about sharing what I think, it's the, the callous of it has changed to the point where it's like, I'm able to share my thoughts that I don't like with you without getting angry. You know what I mean? I have emotions too. I'm human, but I'm able to convey that. Like you got to talk to the person you're dealing with or you're talking to and understand what their language is. Like, when I speak on the internet in a sense of like, you got a lot of women that feel like they don't got to listen to men. You got a lot of women, men that don't feel like they got to give a fuck about women or vice versa, right? And again, until we start really sitting down and having some of these conversations with an open mind, it's going to be just a shit ton of arguing, a shit ton of memes, a shit ton of jokes. And I just personally feel like no one's going to get anywhere because I have cousins that tell me shit. They talk to me about the girls they dealing with. Da -da -da -da, this bitch, this, this bitch did that, this motherfucker, da da da. And, and I mean, I have guys that will talk to me like, yo, this girl's doing this, this, that, and the third. And I have my girlfriend that believes in what she believes in. I have a sister that believes in what she believes in. You know what I mean? And it's like, until we all come to the table on some, I want to say mob ball shit. Because you're really dealing with two superpowers. Like, two sides that feel like they're right. That's fine. How do you get to a middle ground in those situations? One side, and I told a guy this yesterday, you got to just let one side talk and get out everything that they feel. And then you got to talk. Because I feel like men personally have to take on this responsibility. Me personally. I make it my personal responsibility to try not to get mad. I don't like to be angry. And especially in the, in the area of conversation. Because we're not going to get anywhere. It's going to be a bunch of like jabs and thrown. And because emotions come, come and go. They come and go. Like a girl can yell at you and be mad at that instance. And two hours later, come back to you and be like, well, I'm sorry. I just, you know, you have to catch a person when they're in the mood to speak, I guess is the way I want to put it. But until some real communication is had over the things that go on and the things that bother you, the things that make you angry, excuse me, you know, we're not going to get anywhere. We're not going to get anywhere. Like, I don't, I no longer want to be the smartest guy in the room. In my head, I used to feel like, I had to be the smartest guy. Like I had to know everybody, what everyone's thinking, what everyone's doing, or I had to have all the answers right now. And truth be told, I don't want all the answers right now. Cause I think that defeats, defeats the purpose of the journey. Cause when life experience gives it to you, when, when, when life checks you in your ass, right? When life checks you, it sticks with you a lot better. Like a person can tell it to you all they want to, men and women. A person can tell it to you all they want. They can speak their mind on it all they want. Life has to do that. 
sometimes and, and as an older person sometimes and i'm not older but as a person that might be older and more experienced than someone that's younger you have to be able to get out that person's way because i mean you had to do it like okay and as i always tell my girlfriend it's me and my dad when i was 26 27 i didn't like my dad me and my dad didn't get along for shit I had nothing to say to him, you know what I mean? And then there was a good period of two years where I didn't talk to him. Thank God he lived those, through those two years long enough for us to reconcile. But there was things he tried to, he, my dad used to try to like, you know, force his hand on me, so to speak. Like, look, I'm, I'm you still a child, you're going to do what the fuck I tell you. And I used to be like, you're not going to tell me shit. Now, in both instances, we both felt we was right. And I used to tell him, like, look, I'm your same size. I'm as big as you. You're not going to be talking to me like I'm 12. I don't give a fuck about that no more. You know what I mean? And now that I'm, you know, between 27, and this is just me personally. I'm not putting this on no one else. Between me at 27 and me at 32, about the third turn, 33, the conversation is different. Now my, I look at my dad as like, I look at both of my parents. I look at me personally, me personally, and let me stress this point, me personally. I look at my dad as like a peek into the future of what could happen if I don't listen. Does that make sense? Like my dad's experience, I, I okay, they say a wise man learns from, they say a, a smart man learns from his mistakes and a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. I try to talk to my dad so I don't make certain mistakes so I can do less bullshit. Because I'm literally at a point right now where the only thing I literally care about is building a better future. I don't care about, you know, none of the bullshit. I'm not on that. I literally want a better future. That's the only thing I want. Maybe a business, a house, a better quality of life, being able to travel. Because my, I think the older I get, the more my mind expands and is open to new shit. Like, if you'd asked me three years ago about having a house, and I know I'm all over the place. If you'd asked me three years ago about having a house, I'd have been like, nah, nah, I don't even give a fuck about no house. I don't give a fuck about no business. But again, these conversations have to be had to the point where you can either A, absorb the information that, so you can get further in life without having to make, make the mistakes, you know, or B, you can learn it through experience yourself. And everybody has their own preference in learning. And my girlfriend literally told me the other day, she's like, no, don't try to parent me. And I think that's the best way to go about doing it with a lot of people, which is, I don't know, when when you, when you're older and you have, you know, you have experience, you tend to want to like push that off on people. I don't know why we do it when you're like, oh, I know what's right and what's wrong. I know this, I know that. You can tell it to a person that he's a, either A, feels like listening or B, just wants to do things their own way. But Again, the only thing that can check anyone is life. I really am stressing that point. I really believe in that point. That's something that I've really learned to absorb. The only thing that can check a person is life. I can tell you what I want to tell you. I can tell you anything. But if you do not want to listen to the information that I'm trying to depart to you, or you just, you know, don't give a fuck, then that is your personal choice to give a fuck. But I mean, no one's going to get to a point where the other side listens to the other side, or you as a child, Listen to your parent unless, you know, there are real conversations to be had. You know what I mean? And if you feel like you and that person really can't talk to that point and y'all can't communicate, then just remove yourself from it. I mean, that's me personally. I just, you know, I had a lot of things I wanted to share and I just wanted to get that off my chest. And I hope I made my point as clear as I could. So I just was up drinking coffee, watching this cat run around. So I just, you know, decided to talk a little bit. I probably will make another YouTube video for another two months. I ain't really been on YouTube like that. I don't mind speaking. I just, I don't know. I hate the way social media works sometimes. And I dislike how YouTube works. You know, when I'm actually speaking some shit that I really feel like is real. And it's just like, no one gives a fuck. But maybe, I'm, maybe it's just how I come across. So I don't know. But yeah, I just, you know, want to share.